I wanted something totally different for my study abroad experience and I thought Australia was a good place to do that. I love the climate. I heard the people here were awesome and I've experienced that so far. Everyone I've met has been really cool. I'm really glad I came. I actually was surprised the diversity of subjects I could choose from that actually transfer back to my school. This morning, swimming along with all the bait fish and probably a five or six foot lemon shark swims right underneath me and scatters all the bait fish and scares the living hell out of me. Because that is Mustari Reef. It's the far one, it doesn't have an island on it. And this is Heron Reef here, of course. Now. We'll have a look at the organisms that live there. Those of you at the Australia can uh, do a mental comparison between the sorts of things that live there and the sorts of things that occur up here. Yeah, it's I think it's fairly strong. But... When the chicks hatch, the chicks hatch and they've got feathers straight away. It's not like blackbirds and other. You know, uh, blackbirds, robins, those sort of things, passerines. Um, I really find it a lot more interesting to learn. Yeah, on hands on learning than in a lecture. You definitely don't get to do much marine back home. You actually don't get to do that much field stuff, so that's pretty good at UQ. I've done four field courses. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I, uh, I'm a biology major and a neuroscience major, but I don't often do a lot of marine science stuff. So going on a trip like this and to Morton Bay, I get to see things I never would have thought I saw. Like last night, I got to see baby sea turtles hatch. You go under the ocean under a full moon. You don't really get to do that very often. That's what coming to Australia to study for a semester is all about.
time and time soon. Oh. So, I've just got some ideas out there. Oh, cool. Can you guys go and find the We put in five grams of uh, marine fuel. Yeah, it's 